Hey Gemini, this your girl Creole Shawty Tarot coming at you with another video. This is going to be for all Geminis. So take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. Holy Spirit, please protect my energy as I give this message to my Geminis on today. Please allow me to be the channel and provide them with clear and honest messages. What it is that Gemini need to know. First card out, we have the sleeper. Wow, this came out for Leo and Virgo reading as well. All right, so you could have Leo and Virgo in your chart. We also have agitation here, or you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo. Or somebody with both of those placements in their chart. We also have agitation. All right. And then we have the dancer. And then we also have the sign, all right? Pay attention to the red flags or signs at this time, all right? There is somebody around you that's irritated. they having some type of agitation towards a situation or towards you. Um, I, and I feel like this frustration is coming from a place where somebody could have slept on you, right? This connection that they could have had with you. And so now they're irritated because they've been dancing around this situation, taking all these risks. All right. And um, I feel like it didn't land them the best results. We have the presence here at the bottom of the deck. So this is something that this person is currently experiencing. We have the advisor right behind that with the well. And then we have the gambler. Yeah. So like I said, this person was taking some type of risk when it came to you. This person is watching you be abundant and blessed. This person may also be realizing that they was more abundant and blessed when they was with you. All right. It looks like this person could be seeking um, some type of counsel from an advisor. They may be going through some type of therapy or this could be advice from another, uh, from a family member or something like that. All right. But I feel like this person, they don't really know if they come in or going, they don't really know what's next. All right. It's like their mind is kind of blank here. All right. And then we have to pass over. So like I said, you very blessed here. All right. And unfortunately, this person may feel like their life is being cursed. So, Holy Spirit, clarify the sleeper for my Geminis. What they need to know about the sleeper. Seven of Cups. You see what I'm saying? So, this person could have kept their options open. Scorpio energy could be significant. All right. But um, I feel like this person was sleeping on you. They had it in their head that things was going to be so much better without you or something like that. All right. Or this is what you was doing to someone. Right. And then we have the two of Pentacles. So there was definitely some juggling. All right. There could have been um, a third party situation or this person was juggling this situation with something else. Whether there was family, work, whatever, take it how it resonates. And then we have the King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so I feel like this person um, emotionally withdrawn their energy from you in hopes that they was going to manifest something here. But what they manifested was a bunch of drama here with the Five of Wands. And we have the Six of Pentacles here with the Eight of Cups. So it's like... They manifested drama. Meanwhile, you manifested some type of material success and you walked away with the Eight of Cups. All right. So this could be another reason why this person is pissed. Holy Spirit, tell me about this agitation for my Geminis. What Gemini needs to know about this agitation? Nine of Swords, yeah. So this person is all up in their head. They stressed out. They having a lot of anxiety, all right? And I feel like it's behind you. This is Gemini energy with this Nine of Swords. But I feel like this person could have had you in the energy of feeling like you was in despair and they treated you cruel, cruel, right? And then it's like the table somehow turned and here go your um your energy once again with the Ten of Swords, all right? So this person feel like they have a bone to pick with you here. We have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords here, all right? So yeah, I just feel like, uh, <laughs> and then we have the King of Swords coming out. All right, so this could actually be you feeling agitated. Maybe it has something to do with like the responsibilities or how shit was being dumped on you. But I feel like, you know, 
this agitation is just what you needed to move forward here and see something here with the six of swords energy we have the moon here and then we have the hierophant hmm all right, with the seven of cups here. So you could have been under some type of illusion when it came to some type of structure or foundation that you thought that you had created with someone. But I feel like you didn't see um, you didn't see something here. All right. In regards to this person that you could have been dealing with or these people. Right. And so, you know, it's kind of like one of those situations where they say, um. You never really know who's there for you until shit hits the fan in real circumstances. Like you get put in real life circumstances, right? And then you see who's really there for you and who's not, right? So, yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, like I said, this person could have felt more blessed and abundant with you or vice versa. And now that shit done hit the fan, they realizing just how much they are losing without you or something like that. All right. So tell me about this dancing energy. For my Gemini's. Six of Wands. Yeah. So like I said, they was out here taking risks, dancing around a situation, not, you know, being right. All right. And I feel like uh, this justice due to this person taking all kind of risk and playing games or whatever the case may be is bringing about some type of success and balance and justice for you. And now this person is pissed with the five of wands energy. All right. Some of you all, you could be dealing with the Leo because this is Leo energy. All right. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So, yeah. So this is bringing in some type of conflict between you and this individual. All right. Because they realizing just how much they ruin things with you here. Yep. King of Swords, like I said, they realize that they ruin things here with you. Now, this is masculine energy. You could be in your masculine energy, but the bottom line is this is air energy. All right. Like I said, this person thought that they was going to be successful or have something here without you, but it was all an illusion. All right. So something here was unsuccessful for somebody. Meanwhile, successful for the other person. And now somebody is mad. What my Geminis need to know about the sign, Holy Spirit. And let's see what's at the bottom of this deck again. The presence, yeah. So behind the presence, we have the advisor, like I said, the well, and then we have um, the gambler, and then we have the wanderer here. All right. Somebody could be talking to this person, telling them that they should return back to the well or something like that, which the well would be you, it looks like, right? But uh, I don't know if they're really going to take that advice or not. All right, because they feel like they still will be gambling something, right? So tell me about the sign for my Gemini's, Holy Spirit. All right, the moon and the last judgment. <laughs> So there's a decision here that's coming up that you may not see. All right. Um... Or this person is having to make a decision possibly about you with this empress energy, all right? The empress energy, this is somebody who's fertile. Um, there's a lot of growth, fertility, creativity around this woman. This can also signify a mother figure, all right? So, um, yeah. And then we have the lovers. There go your energy right there. And then we have the universe here. So there could be a decision that's coming up. This person may come in wanting to make peace with you here with the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. And then we had a magician with the nine of cups. They could come back in wanting to manifest you or whatever the case may be. All right. Um, but something is toxic about this situation. And I feel like, you know, if you was dealing with a third party situation, that's going to be the toxicity of it. But it looks like somebody is coming in, trying to um make some type of peace with you, maybe trying to get back into your good graces or whatever the case may be. Because like I said, it seems like somebody screwed up. They know they screwed up. And basically, this person could be feeling like their life is falling apart or like... They made the wrong type of move. So now they're having a lot of stress and anxiety behind whatever this was. So Holy Spirit, what's the overall message and advice for my Gemini in regards to this reading? Yeah. 
let go and enjoy all right so it may be time for you to release the situation altogether like i said because if you was to let this person back into your energy it seems like it's going to be a toxic situation we also have choose friends wisely all right so this person's friends could have told them to do this to you or vice versa all right just make sure that you receive in wise counsel or this uh Cross watching need to make sure that they receive a wise counsel. We also have make necessary sacrifices and refine your attention here. All right. And we still got choose friends wisely at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting that you need to let go of this situation. All right. Whatever it was, if they screwed up, now they need to make the necessary sacrifices to make it right. All right. And um, I just feel like somebody needs to redirect their focus towards something that's more beneficial to them. All right. So, um, I'm going to read, make the necessary sacrifices and refine your attention. Is your heart set on a particular goal or desire, yet you hesitate to commit for fear of what's required for success? Are you wishing for more in some part of your life, yet you're unwilling or afraid to change anything to make room for something new? Are you seeking the prospect of greater interest in and involvement with others, yet resist upsetting your comfortable routines? If so, take notice that you're standing at an important juncture in your life, one where your spiritual adolescent faces your spiritual adult. Grow past your comfort zone and embrace your greatness. It is time. Your divine energy is calling you to sacrifice short-term conveniences for long-term gains. For every step you take towards your heart's desires, you must step away from the comfortable routine of the moment. The rewards are there if you make the effort. Your divine invitation is be willing to make the temporary sacrifices necessary to achieve your goals and accept the short-term discomfort and demands that comes with new commitments and change. It may seem that what you must give up in order to attain your goals is too great to risk, but rest assured that in the end, your sacrifices will be rewarded many times over. All right. So, yeah, I just feel like, you know, it's time to cut something off, but somebody needs to go about doing something the right way. And that's that would be by making the necessary sacrifices, no matter how un uncomfortable it may be. Right. Because like I said, it seems like somebody already got somebody else attached to the situation anyway. So if you was to take this person back, it looks like it would be toxicity, right? Because somebody is in way too deep in another situation. But anyway, it says the more your divine energy awakens in you, the more you start paying attention to your present attitudes and behaviors. Notice which attitudes and behaviors serve you and which ones sabotage you. All right. That's why the agitation is here. Are your present attitudes and behaviors in alignment with your true heart's desires? Your divine energy is calling you to improve your attitude and place your attention on a higher, more supportive outlook. It is time to notice which things consume your mental energy. Does your focus align with your goals? Do your behaviors align with your intentions or are you scattering your energies on negative attitudes and behaviors? Your divine invitation is to check your focus and your attitude. Focus on what you want for at least three to five minutes each day. Ideally, first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Take at least one action today to support your focus. Thinking is not enough. It's time to do something. All right. So there's also an energy of procrastination in regards to what it is your intuition could be telling you that you need to do, but it's like you just won't do it. And it may have a lot to do with this attachment to whoever this person is, right? But that's what I have for you, Geminis, and until next time, bye.